Yeah. <laughs> what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. So today we got some more news from Harley Davidson. Damn, Harley Davidson lately has been giving us some news back to back to back. Next week we're gonna be expecting the new custom 1250. So super excited for that. Huge, huge fan of that bike. Um, but today let's talk about the big elephant in the room. No, not my bike. So let's talk about Harley Davidson maybe departing with Livewire and the Livewire being its own company now. There's a lot to talk about right now. We're gonna be reading a few things that I saw online and we gotta talk about what's going on, what's happening and where will we be? from the post that Harley Davidson posted today on their Instagram page so it goes a little bit like this 118 years of innovation have brought us to today and we're excited to introduce Livewire an electric brand built for the urban experience and beyond so basically this is telling me that Livewire is becoming its own brand it's not it's not Harley Davidson it's his own brand right today's Livewire one built on the DNA of Harley Davidson but with the electric focus and ambition of the new Livewire brand. Harley Davidson and Livewire will continue to rewrite the motorcycle rule book and we are excited about this next chapter in our legacy. So obviously now we know we have a different company. It's called Livewire One. I'm not sure if the Harley Davidson sold everything to them. Maybe they, they own half of the company uh, like I, I'm, I'm not sure so I want to keep continue to write this um, this is from uh, Revzilla um, by Andy Greaser what's the big difference between a Harley Davidson live wire and the live wire one about seven thousand dollars we're gonna get into a little later on and the name on the tank according to today's press release right so and it goes a little bit like this in May Harley Davidson announces live wires departure from the bar and shield stable to become its own brand which unveiled its first model today the livewire one it's basically the harley davidson livewire with a few minor changes in a massive price drop from twenty one thousand dollars and ninety nine uh owners may be eligible for a two thousand two hundred tax credit which brings that down to nineteen thousand seven nine nine a few states uh still offer incentives that is amazing right there, I like that. So let, let, let's talk about this. So basically what this is telling me is basically that Harley Davidson got rid of the Livewire bike, the platform. It looks like they sold the that part of the company to this other company, Livewire One. So the, live, the Harley Davidson Livewire is now owned by the company Livewire One. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why they might have done this. Maybe they, uh, they they got a lot of heat from this, and Harley Davidson did not sell a lot of these bikes. Some dealerships I know are still sitting on the ones they first received um, from last year. So yeah, there's 2020 still on the floor, and it's we're halfway through 2021, which is not great. Um, don't get me wrong, I made few, plenty, plenty of videos on this bike. I love the live wire. I had it for a full day. My local dealership uh, gave me one for me to ride around for the whole day and give my honest opinion, and I loved it. That bike is amazing. The adrenaline you get from it is it's unbelievable. If you have yet to be on one and you're hating because oh it's an electric bike and no nah, it's not a real motorcycle, believe me. The minute you throw a leg over the bike and you crank down, oh my god! It's uh, number one. It sounds like a Tie Fighter. It's instant power. And it's it, it wants to live like at 100 miles an hour all day like that. It, it sounds amazing and it feels great. A good adrenaline rush that um, you would only feel if you really got on the bike, right? Um, now the reason why I think and I know because how many times Harley Davidson did he not mention in my videos that your bike was too expensive? And now look at you. Uh, I don't know what that was, but whatever. A <laughs> hundred times I said, Harley Davidson should have priced this bike at $20,000. $20,000. You can go through all my videos and you'll see me mentioning that. This bike should have been $20,000 and I bet you it would have sold. I mean, Harley Davidson was selling the Livewire at 30 grand, bro. 30 grand 
you could get a bagger. So, yeah, I mean, I know it's new technology. I know you got to charge a premium. But you guys went way over the top with that one. It was knocked it out the park and not the good way. Um, so, where do we stand now? Now we have this company, Livewire One. Who knows if Harley Davidson owns that company? Who knows if they're trying to do something behind closed doors where they're like, yeah, we push this over to this company and now we're working together with them, but it could be that it's false and it, we're just trying to make it seem different because we're trying to keep Harley Davidson, Harley Davidson classic. And I, I, I really don't know what, uh, what the ultimatum is with this. I'm happy the price is cheaper. Um, it, uh, hey, it got me thinking now, like, hey, like, you know, if things go well later down the line, I might get a live wire. Like, I really like that. I really love that bike. Man, I even like it. I loved it. It's, it's amazing. Um, nothing different as well. Like, so <laughs> they went down from $30,000 to twenty, dollars and the only thing that changed was the name on the tank. That's it. It doesn't look good on Harley Davidson's end. Like, why would you guys charge in thirty thousand dollars for this bike? And now this new company, Livewire One, brings it to the public at this new price. It doesn't look good on Harley Davidson's end at all. Um, with that being said, I really hope these bikes sell. I really want to see a lot of them on the road, um, and I want to see where this Livewire One company takes things. To the next level where we see more little live wires um different different types different sizes <sighs> big rumor is that harley davidson might be coming out with an electric bagger but now not anymore maybe this company might be doing that who knows um i don't know there, there's just a lot going through my mind i want to get this video out i want to get everybody talking on it let's talk about it let's talk about it Drop your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think about this bike. Let me know what you guys think about this whole ordeal about the mis thing of the Harley Davidson doing this and that and renaming this. Like, what does that mean to you? Um, yeah, uh, I think that's gonna be it. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell button for any Harley Davidson news. Harley Davidson content with my 2020 Lowrider S, my 2019 Sporty 883, and my 2015 Dyna Lowrider, lots of parts. Hey guys, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I got a big, huge Vance and Heinz box in the house. What's it for? What bike is it for? I don't know. There's also other stuff in that box. There's cool stuff. The install for the FXRP fairing for the 2020 Lowrider S, it's coming in a week or two as well. And I gotta install my thrash and supply risers on the Dyna as well. And there's like so many projects going on. It's like I have no time to put these things on. And I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Like always, ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.